Hi, well, I'm back to some more, uh, Splatoon 2, um, this has literally no meaning whatsoever, I, I, it's, uh, this is one of those weird videos where I'm just recording, like, really late at night, so, um, I decided to play Splatoon 2, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm playing it, this is like, I'm playing it, like, really late at night, on tower control, and, like, I guess I keep getting this energy where I just decide to keep going regardless, or maybe it's my environment, or maybe, it, I don't know, just something about me just feels like I need to keep going even though I should probably be asleep right now, especially since this is a Sunday, but, um, I, again, I just, oh, wow, <laughs> okay, well, I guess this should be an easy win, so, um, I'm using the end zap, 85, I literally just decided to pick it up, like, okay, I'm just gonna use this weapon to see what good I can do with it, because, and, I was also wondering, like, okay, so I know this weapon is, like, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, but I'm gonna pick up this weapon and see why people think of it, or thought of that for some reason, and now I already know. This weapon is really meant for people who like to, uh, really turn their wrist, just, just turn their wrist, just, just turn it, or just something else, just something else as a whole, I don't know, but it's really meant for something, that's for sure. Like, see, <laughs> I got that one. I got that one dude. Got that one dude by doing nothing but turning around over and over. Alright, let me get to this one area over here, though. And, um... I don't really know what else to say, um... <laughs> for this video. This is just a... This video is more... It's mostly just a waste of your time and to let you know that, you know, the... The NZ85 is really good. <laughs> it's a, uh... It's an unreasonably good weapon. That's why I feel like the NZAP 85 is. And I'm not even like in like uh for splat zones for the rank X leaderboard. There's like that one dude who's like at like 2890 for their power with the NZAP 85. So it, it kept convincing me that I had just had to pick up the weapon cuz you know, it's a powerful weapon. So I'm just gonna, uh, I don't know. Well, everyone's dead, all right. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Okay, that stingray should be done by now. I like how no one's even using a Kensa weapon, like, at all. Like, I would not, I would have been using the Kensa Spotter Shot Pro, but... Um, it's tower control, and even though this that was the weapon I was using for tower control, essentially, I decided to try something a little bit different, just to, I don't know, get a different, get a little bit of a different taste. You know what I'm trying, oh, I'm backed up to a wall, alright, I think I shouldn't be backed up to a wall like that, because that, that's really terrifying for me to, <sighs> wow, okay, because the one can person can trap me, but, you know what, then, um, that's also why I got some quick respawn, just in case if I get into situations where I um, am just gonna die and I can't really do anything about it. Which, with other weapons like the Splatter Shot Pro, um, I don't want to put that on because um, the Splatter Shot Pro isn't really a frontliner weapon. It's a more of a midliner weapon. Like, it's a weapon that pretends to be a frontliner, but is kind of a backliner. Like, in some level, just is, or it's just one of those weapons that doesn't know. Whether to decide to be a backliner or a frontliner or just either one or just tries to be in between. So that's what the Splatter Shot Pro really is. So frontliner weapons like the NZAP and the Splatter Shot are the ones that would uh, that would get some quick respawn. And especially some special saber. See, I mean, like, look at that. I just died. I would have had my quick respawn activated if I didn't kill anyone, but, you know, whatever. Okay, come on. I mean, we're winning right now. I don't know what I should be thinking of other than um, starting up a conversation. So how was your guys' day? Was it good? Was it great? Was it just utterly boring? Um, I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video, but I can guarantee it's probably not going to be sometime during Thanksgiving. How was your guys' experience during the Splatfest, actually? That's, let's start with that. How was your experience during the Splatfest? Was it excellent? Was it odd? Was it just uh, whatever? 
Was it just like, was it just meaningless to you guys? I mean, I don't know if it was meaningless to me, but like, it was, it was relatively fun. It was a relatively fun Splatfest. Especially picking a side where it kind of felt clear we were going to win. Um, uh, hashtag Team Salsa. <laughs> hashtag Salsa for the win. <laughs> Cause like, I mean, I don't, I have never really tasted guacamole before, but um, for those of you who do like guacamole, good for you, but I'm, something about it just felt clear that Salsa was going to win, and I'm not sure what it was. But I mean, whatever, and everyone's just wiped out. That's amazing. Hokey dokey. Yeah, uh, shoo. I, I wanted to say booyah back, but then I didn't. We're at checkpoint one, even though the batch pretty much already ended. Well, that was just uh, relatively excellent, even though we didn't really make too much progress, but neither did they. What matters is that we won! Uh, that's I only got four? I only got four. I only got four. I only got one point. I legitimately got only one point. Wowzers, alrighty. So, um... Getting one point for uh, that win. I mean, we had a top 500 player on our team, so I'm kind of really not surprised at all. So... Man, how am I gonna sleep tonight? Like, I feel so energized. I'm not even sure if I can even sleep tonight. Like, can I? Can I not? Oh, man. I'm not even for sure anymore. I'm just no longer for sure. So, I'm, I'm just gonna hope that we can just get into a, a match real quick. And, yeah. Just to... Just get into a match. Just wait patiently for a match. And, uh... Yeah, I don't really have that many things to say. There we go. There's that one other person we needed. Get on in here. We need ya, buddy. We need ya for this match. We need ya. I wonder how it's gonna be like for me in the afternoon. Because, like, if I'm really energized, like, right now... Or, or, I wouldn't say energize. More of just like if I'm really active with playing this game. And I don't know. Ooh, I, I also like how we have a, uh, a, uh, and a Kansas Fire Shop on our team. Every time we have someone with a weapon that I feel like is good, then, um, I feel like that we're gonna win. And maybe it isn't something like the H3, where it's like, it, that what people can say the, we the weapon isn't amazing, but, um, what they dan, what they, Dan, <laughs> what they can definitely say is that whoever picked, I just feel like that anytime I'm teamed with, teamed up with someone who has the, um, the H3, I just feel like we're gonna win, cause like, anyone who picks up the H3, no, it's not, it's not like anyone who wants to pick up the H3 is automatically good with it, it's more that whoever picks up the H, it's more of that the people that pick up the H3 are the ones that are good with the H3, or well, the ones that are good with chargers, or the ones that are just good at aiming, you know what I'm saying? Pretty sure you know what I'm saying. Oh, there's another end zap. Okay, hold up. This is bad. It's bad for my case. Okay, never mind. I guess it's fine for me for now. For now, I say, because like, who knows what could happen? That ends up. I wonder what gear that ends up is wearing actually. Oh shit! Hold up. What? Special ink saver sub. Swim speed and special charge. Okay, that's that's reasonable. I was think I really wanted to put on my blue slip ons for the ink saver sub, but I felt like that quick respawn was actually like really you know relevant with this weapon, or it just felt like it worked with this weapon in particular, because like I like heading into turf four matches and then putting on some that good old quick respawn, with like it just for some reason works. Like I feel like it. I feel like it works in a way where it shouldn't work, but it just works. It just works all handy dandy and all that stuff. But yeah. I don't know what else to say other than, um... Yeah. Okay. Dark Angel. Along with the Kensa Splattershot, which is a pretty cool weapon. 
It's I. You know how I think about it. I wonder if the Kenza Spot Shot is just one of those weapons. Just like, hey, I have. A, you have a reason to pick me over. Well, the Ten of Missiles is a reason why you should pick me over the NZAP 89. Like the NZAP 89 is probably a relatively amazing weapon with Ten of Missiles, but Splatter Shot is also amazing with Ten of Missiles. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. I was in a fight with her, and I was in front of a suction bomb. But at least I gave some ink armor, so. I don't know. Yo, let's just, uh. Throw that on that. Throw my raspberries up there. Get that. Get that guy. Get that guy. Ouch. <laughs> well, at least we got that guy. Okay, well, it seems to. Oh, wait a second. I was gonna say it seems to be going alright, but then everyone just died. Okay, hold up. I think I know where I want to go. Same time, I kind of don't. I'm trying to, like, stay calm about this, try to figure out what I want to do. Because I'm not even sure what I even want to do. I'm a mid range weapon. And there is a lot of weapons that can pretty much counter mine. And two weapons that are basically my range. I mean, I'm not sure about the Clash Neo. Clash Blaster, like, there's probably a way I can actually, like, defeat it over the Clash Blaster defeating me, but, um, Kenta Splatter Shot matches my range, the End Zap obviously matches my range, because we're both, like, technically the same weapon, and, um, what else was I gonna say, um, and, but the Dually Squelchers is my worry. Dually Squelchers is my only worry, because that, that is a weapon of lethal, that is a weapon of range. Which is something that I don't have. Okay, come on. Hold up. Oh my goodness, they took the lead. They took the lead. They took the lead. They took the lead. Okay, we need to do something. We killed them all. Pretty sure we might be able to do something. At least something. Okay, but I think I know what I want. I think I just want this area over here. And some everyone to have ink armor. Okay. There's the end zap right there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. 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 I guess we I guess we took that lead. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. 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 Ooh, I got 14. That's not too bad. At least I got more than the other end zap, so I'm fine with that. Are you kidding me? I still got one point? Oh my goodness. Something tells me I might have to uh, play a little bit more next time. I don't know. Maybe I might even play more right now. But, uh, <laughs> that's ridiculous.